What's up, fam? About to go over our up dog. So pretty much think about you come to the mat from all fours, let's say. Maybe certain child's pose, come up to all fours. So think about shoulders stacked over the elbows, over the wrists, and we just are gonna pretty much be balancing on our wrists and on our hands and using those as just, you know, our legs. So from up dog, you can start if you wanna be on the belly. And then we're gonna have our hands come right underneath the elbows so we can try and get a 90 degree angle at the elbows. So get on both sides, and then we're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades in, hug those elbows in, and then slowly start to inhale, and press it in the fingertips and in the base of our palms. Start to straighten our arms and take it in a back bend. And so I'm gonna roll my shoulders open, try and ground down my hands, trying to eliminate any gap between the palms, flexing the fingertips, and then I'm gonna start to press into the tops of my feet so much that my belly is gonna start to slide a little bit forward as my thighs lift up. And I'm gonna keep trying to pull my belly through my arms and keep rolling my shoulders back so I can get more and more vertical shoulders stacked over the elbows. And I'm just gonna keep pulling my waist through so I get deeper into the back bend. But my shoulders are gonna stay stacked over the wrist. Hands are gonna be nice and planted. And I'm gonna try and pull my waist in line with my wrist and then exhale, tail up and back to your down dog. And if you want a little precursor to that, it would be just coming into cobra pose. So you can hover the palms if you want, but just pretty much peeling the heart off the mat. And then that's about it. Shoulders relaxing. Just taking a little gentle. If you want to put your palms down, you can use that for some support. Going into this straight arms with a seal stretch. Waist still relaxing. But as we get our palms underneath those shoulders, then we can hug those elbows in and then start to pull our waist through and get really nice into that hard opening back bend, up dog. Deep breath in and then exhale, down dog. And just practice that. The more you try and uh, pull your hands and you're in line with the wrists, the better. It's hard to really feel it on a Manduka mat, but I'll show you if I have, you know, a little bit lighter mat, that when I'm here in this chaturanga, inhale to our up dog, and I start to pull my waist through, you should see the mat starts to crinkle up because I'm pulling, my feet are getting closer because my waist is getting closer. And then exhale down dog. So you can see that you can drop the knees, chaturanga, inhale up dog, see no crease, and then my waist starts to pull through. Inhale up dog, exhale down dog, shout out Joji. Schweitzer, helping us out with that one. Thank yoga from way back when I first really learned how to do up dog, but you know, it's a workout. So keep pulling the, those hips in line with those wrists, getting deep into that back bend and really embrace that heart opener. Namaste.